Greetings and salutations. It's your boy D Boom for LL Ascension, aka LL Astrology, aka LL Terror. We back. Uh, got Twin Flames of Separation from what is this? July twenty first through July twenty eighth. Uh, definitely my birthday weekend. You feel me? G Day on the twenty sixth. You know what I'm saying? Leo. I mean, if you didn't know, I mean, I figure you know by now. <laughs> Give him the sauce and shit, but you know what I mean? Hey, Leo season is upon us. Y'all motherfuckers know what time it is, bruh. Like, straight up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how we get when 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 it's our season. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how we is, B. So, salute to all the Leos right now. Like, on, on top. Fuck the time about Leos, nigga. Hey, Leos run the world. Ask Obama. And open girlfriend, nigga. We out here, nigga. Stop playing with me, G. We, hey, Leo sees it, bro. It's a wrap, yo. It's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap, cuz just stop hating on us, bro. And I'm gonna say this while I deal these cards. Well, Leo rent and shit for those who don't know, right? Like I said, motherfuckers be thinking Leo is selfish as hell. We the most self, we the most selfless person in the zodiac. You know what I'm saying? The sauce just be too tight, though. Y'all just be. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can't see past the exterior. We're not weak. I mean, we teddy bears. But we beasts out here, nigga. I'm saying, we ain't the one to fuck with. Y'all know that. We'll die for ours. Y'all know that. Fuck is you saying? We don't play, and we don't talk about shit we don't know. We always run in our mouth, right? Yeah, that's, that's shit we know about. Shit we don't know about, what are Leo doing? We just analyzing this shit. Terminator, nigga. We the Terminator, nigga. Leo step in any vicinity. Whether that's going to work, going to a party, wherever. It's Terminator. Everybody in that bitch getting sized the fuck up. Quickly. <laughs> Alright, you ain't shit. Yeah, you ain't no shit. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the motherfucker up in here with the business, with the juice, with the swag. Top dog. What Queen B, whatever, however you want to put the shit. You know what I'm saying? We sized everybody up at all times. Why? Because y'all need to be on guard. <laughs> y'all need to be on guard. Just in case a fight pop off. Just in case some danger happen. That's why we the ones that die for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because we seen the terrorists come in the building when everybody was <laughs> sleep, son. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we catch everything. You can never steal from a Leo. You're playing yourself. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if you stealing money out of an account. Or you stealing a dollar out of a fucking hundred roll of dollars. You know what I'm saying? We know everything we have in our motherfucking possessions, bro. We don't fuck around. We read behavior, too. We're king analyzers. That's why we can see through half you motherfuckers. The only reason why Leo's catch so much fucking flack out here is because of misunderstanding. Only fucking Leo's understand that shit. Misunderstanding. We get it. We get a lot of shit. Y'all don't get it. Who fault is it? Y'all don't get the shit. It ain't our fault. We took time and energy and resources out of our time to figure shit out. Okay? That's why loyalty will never be there. Hey, your love will never be where a fucking Leo's love is at straight up and down. Your loyalty will never be where a Leo's loyalty is. Passion? Stop playing. <laughs> stop playing, Joe. Love, stop fucking playing. We bout our shit. You know what I'm saying? Leo, hey, Leo, you don't like it? Switch the channel. We bout our shit, bro. We don't fuck around. We are the king of first impressions. Of course we're gonna lay the smack down on your candy ass when it comes to the sheets, nigga. That's what we do. Of course we gonna go hard on some little ass shit just to dominate your motherfucking ass because we look at everything as a game. Sex is a game. Life is a game. Work is a game, nigga. We just play to win. We LeBron James out here. Leo, I think he is, unless he a Virgo, but it don't even matter, bro. It's Leo season up in here, you know what I'm saying? And all I got to say is Obama, G. Two terms. Fuck you talking about, bro. Hey, go get you one. You ain't got Leo. Go get you one because you, you don't know what the fuck you missing. We will give you a limited rope to hang yourself with. <laughs> Who the fuck doing that out here? <laughs> Nobody. And even if we know you ain't shit, you still will sit high on our motherfucking pedal stool, man. And that's that's that weak sauce. You know what I'm saying? I got the cards out. Reedy starts in five minutes. Don't care. Leo shit. Fuck your time out. Let's get it. Not selfish, bro. We selfless. Better check up.
Really analyze that. You'll see. Selfless. Yeah. <laughs> Coming into the situation. This goes for both of you. We got the full card here. Whole new world like Aladdin. New territory. I take it as new territory. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all entering new territory. You and your twin is entering new plateaus. You know what I'm saying? And clarifying that is the Eight of Cups. The Pain of the Bell card. In entering this new plateau separately, even though we in it together, separately though, you and your masculine are definitely on y'all discipline shit. I'm pretty sure the shit that I'm on, my twin starting to get on. I ain't gonna say he been on it, but maybe he been on it. I mean, I know I'm on some monk shit, trying to eight of cups out here, keep my name clean, my integrity clean out here, trying to keep my word, my bond out here. It ain't my fault people misunderstand shit. That's on them. I don't trip over it anyway. But all I'm saying is I'll be on my shit divine wise. No matter how many views I get, <laughs> no matter how many motherfucking refunds I give, don't matter any, it doesn't matter. Real shit, it doesn't. You know what I'm saying? All that matters is I stay on my shit and be divine about it. I'm in a whole new world like Aladdin and I stay divine. Y'all in a whole new world like Aladdin, it'd be best to stay divine. Why? Got a good point. Why? Let's pick something up. Eight of Cups. You gotta take care of your fucking self out here, bro. And by taking care of yourself while staying divine in a whole new world, you're gonna ace a cup. Eight of Cups plus Ace of Cups. That's Nine of Cups. That's dreams come true. That's what's is granted. And guess what? We got the Nine of Cups out here. And it's in a masculine role in regards to him or herself. Dreams do come true out here, but guess what? You got to work for it. You got to discipline yourself for it. You got to be ready for it. Okay? Overall energy. Stay on y'all divine shit. Keep y'all nose and y'all integrity clean. Because if you're masculine on some shit and they, they handling their business and they taking care of business feminine and you ain't on shit, it's going to speak volumes. And who you think going to get in your ass for that? Not your masculine. Not your fourth, fifth dimensional self. God finna get all in your ass for that feminine and feminine. Just stay on your shit. All you gotta do is be doing what you're doing, feminine. What's your role? Three of Wands, purpose. All you gotta do is do what you do. And everything else is gonna work itself out. Overall energy. Bottom line energy. We got Queen of Cups here. Lucy Lou being clarified by the Four of Cups. Being ten toes to fuck down when it comes to you making decisions in the world. This is the world card. I don't think I need to get any more specific than that. The world, the matrix, the crab bucket, the plantation, this fucking imaginary world, 70% of the world is living in fucking rock baby to the real fact that we live in a real world with real rules, with real shit going on. Not this cupcake ass fool shit right here. Y'all love the world. I don't fucks with it. Y'all care about what go on in here. I don't give two squirrel farts about what goes on in the world. And then I ain't talking about the globe, you geeks. <laughs> it's the world car, right? Yeah, cups are emotions and shit, right? Yeah, talking about emotions. I ain't talking about the literal world. But it's your emotions on how you feel in the world. Gotta be ten toes down on shit, man. It can't be... Like I said, if you're going to break up with somebody, break up with them. If you're going to do better, do better. If you're going to do something, do something. Don't just talk. Talk is fucking cheap. And it's expensive as shit in this world. Talk is fucking cheap. Honey buns cost $1.29. They ain't two for a dollar no more. A small ass bag of chips is like 69 like 69 cents, Joe. And them shits used to be four for a dollar. Like, all I'm saying is, talk been cheap. The world ain't cheap. You know I'm saying niggas ain't getting gas for a dollar, 98, 89 cent no more. Shit has changed. If the world's changing, you need to change with it. Meaning, you need this money out here. And you need to get it the right way. You need to be on your shit. Being on your shit ain't just purpose. You need to get your fucking guap up. Because if you ain't got no money, I'm telling you, they, gonna, they, they are going to put you in a category less than human. It's like any fucking video game you see eventually 
from Call of Duty to Max Payne 3, they always dropping dimes, man. It gets to the point where human beings are going to be, we're already used as cattle as far as our labor and the way they fuck our minds. They fuck our minds good, not mine. I'm just talking about y'all, 7% of the world shit. They fuck y'all minds all day. So much to where they have you guys in a bubble. So much to where that bubble is really like an incubator like the fucking Matrix is with the people who still sleep in there. Remember, if you wake up, you get flushed out, and you, you get picked up by the Nebuchadnezzar that takes you to the real world, Zion, which is out here, shit, that's clarifying the Nebuchadnezzar. The Nebuchadnezzar and Zion is here. I'm going to tell you about that, how you get home to heaven and get ejected out this fucking world that y'all been living and sleeping in for a minute. Some of y'all still, like, some of y'all sleep watching this. Some of y'all sleep watching this. <laughs> like I say, y'all karmics, and y'all know who I'm talking to. They should be all I care, man, because you ain't here to learn. You obviously here for another agenda. I'm going to say this, and I'm going to move on. Be 10 toes down on decisions in the world, okay? I'm going to make a couple statements, because I'm always 10 toes down on how the fuck I'm doing in this world, how with the moves I'm making and shit, right? Yeah, I just analyze this shit. I got like 3.5K subscribers, right? Like, I already told you, I don't know, probably last year, that only probably 1,200 people watch my shit. Okay, aside from that, I got 1,200 people that's just active on my shit. Whether they fake accounts or they're like, ah, people that come through to just steal my shit. Because I see my shit all, I see my shit everywhere. This lingo, like, LLE Ascension lingo is every fucking word. Yeah, me and my 3.5K and shit. Yeah, the influence is everywhere. Told you, I ain't got the numbers on the views and the subs and shit, nigga. But the, <laughs> nigga, but the influence is everywhere. I see my sauce everywhere. It's supposed to be. Niggas supposed to gank my shit. People supposed to steal my language while they got a role going. I mean, of course, you got to maintain that <laughs> six-digit subscriber list. Of course, you're going to bite new shit. It's like mainstream rappers biting underground rappers. They've been doing that shit for years. It's like NBA players stealing street ball legend moves and bringing that shit to the NBA. Of course, motherfuckers know who you are. I ain't even ever heard. Like I said, niggas don't know who Grandmaster Cass is, bro. Motherfuckers don't know Headache from Man 1 and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then you got shit like Michael Jackson who, who, who bite dance moves from motherfuckers you don't even know. They been doing that shit for centuries, man. White artists stealing black blues artist music and, and it's called pop. What's pop means? Popular. You, if you didn't know, some of y'all are so slow. Y'all didn't even know pop men popular. Popular. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are popular. Okay? And like I said, 70% of the motherfucking world is karmics. I mean, why the fuck they ain't using the same tactics in this motherfucking collective? Eh, I told you. All the great motherfuckers dwindle between 3 and 8K. But they usually at six. I just said eight K to make it seem nice, cause the greats, the greats, in my opinion, they stuck at six K, and they know who they are. That's fucked up. You gotta analyze why do people, myself included, who speak the real, who come in with some substance out here, are getting hummed down on a low sub channel, but yet these gooks, <laughs> I'm gonna call them gooks. These motherfucking gooks, bro, is busting. It's a reason for that shit. It ain't like they coming with substance. No, they're entertaining and shit. It's like the reason why they pick TV shows and shit. Because they know dummies going to watch it. They cater to the 70%. People don't cater to the divine. The world caters itself to karmics and not divines. That's why they took God out the motherfucking school. Prayer out of school and shit. That's why they're erecting satanic temples and courthouses now. <laughs> It was in state government centers and shit now. That's why they're teaching Satanism in school now. Oh, we, we Christianity gets preached. We gotta preach. We gotta preach. Like I say, the world going to hell. Why? Because it's catering to the 70%. That's why our music sound like shit. Because it's catering to the 70%. That's why TV shows are shit. Everything is shitty. Because they are catering to the karmics. Just want to throw that out there. Let's get up in here, man. Divine Feminine, you coming to the situation, you got the King of Pentacles. This is manning the fuck up on one big A for ass decision. Ace of Swords. This is going in one direction and one direction only. 
It's just making your mind up about one thing and one thing only. This ain't teeter tottering over another fucking decision. This is you knowing straight in your motherfucking head what direction you want to go. Which kind of correlates to the Queen of Swords down here. Bottom line, how you need to be in the world. Ten toes the fuck down on decisions. Kicking this shit off. <laughs> you manning up on one. One big ass one too. Let's put some more smoke on that. You, you manning up on one big ass decision of Wine Feminine. What's that about? Two of Pentacles. That's about... <laughs> That's about uh, who the fuck in your space and who you want in your space. Two things. Who's in your space and who you want in your space. That's the two things you finna man up, man the fuck up on right now. What direction you want to go. It's like you got a fucking roommate. You ain't feeling this shit no more. You about to move the fuck around. It's like... Somebody, I don't know, is trying to get too close to you and shit. They kind of intruding, being all in your fucking business, all up in your nerves. You know what I'm saying? All in your Disney, won't even let you breathe and shit. You can't breathe. Breathe. On some Tony Braxton shit. <laughs> and it's like, yo. Mm. Chris Tucker voice on Fifth Element, nigga. You gotta move the fuck around, bro. Like, you too close. You, you too, get off my Disney, man. <laughs> Feminine. Somebody is either like you either ready to move around from somebody that's already in your space or somebody is trying to get in your space and they all in your Disney, man, and that shit. Like it's like a gnat. You know what I'm saying? It's like a bug that keeps flying by your ears. Like, yo, move around. What the fuck is you doing? Like fuck is you doing? This sounds like a coworker, roommate, family member, business partner. This don't look sexual based either. This shit looks very business based. Very like a like a I don't know, like I said, a partnership, friendship, uh roommate, goddamn co-worker, colleague, business partner type shit, like for real. Coming to this thing. Masculine, coming to the situation. You got the ten of cups. There you go with this emotional fulfillment shit. Damn! Every real shit, it's three readings straight. The Ten of Cups has been popping off. Okay. And you come into this separation. Masculine now. Honest, uh, look, I'm not hating. It's all good. Daniel, that's emotional fulfillment. Why are you hating on that? I'm not hating on that, bro. It's just like I said the last time this shit came out. Before the last time. Before the last time. Listen. This shit popping up too much. It seems unreal. It seems forced. It seemed forced the third time. I think this is the fifth time you've kind of hid behind this emotional fulfillment shit you kicking, masculine. Aside from that, it's another delay. I think a delay came with one before. Every time this shit comes out, it's always some bullshit attached to it. A low-level energy is usually the pain card or... Or this shit, five like five of swords, which is a delay, Nate Dog, hold up, wait. I don't take it as focusing, I just take it as you delaying yourself. This is the energy of a person that's stalling them like to figure out what the fuck they gonna say or lie about. You know what I mean? It's like a decision you was supposed to be made. A decision you was supposed to be made. Queen of Swords being ten toes to fuck down on your decisions, masculine, you ain't doing none of that. Feminine, you definitely doing that. Or at least you should. And feminine, if you ain't doing that, then energies are switching and your masculine on this shit. And you need to take heat. Simple as that. That's how energy switch. Just like that, baby. Booyah. If it ain't him, if that if it ain't resonating with if it ain't resonating with you, see if it resonates with your twin. 60% out of the time, it, 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 it just might. There ain't no delays here on that. I'm telling you, soon your energy switch, the other energy switch. So if masculine, if you want some feminine shit, your masculine meal some masculine shit. That's how you need to uh, interpret and read the readings and shit. I mean, if you was really analyzing your twin flame shit and really doing your work, then you would notice all that shit. It's, it wouldn't just be some fresh new shit, me saying shit switch like that. Whatever. Any rate, you stalling. Okay? Why are you stalling with this, oh, everything's emotionally fulfilled attitude you keep cloaking yourself with, G? Knight of Cups. <laughs> I'm going to take this, okay, Knight of Cups, Knight, it's the Romeo card, but I'm going to take this as J for justify, you feel justified doing what you're doing, once again, I mean, every time I pick this out, I always get to this part, where you justify this shit, or you 
You do this every time. You say you're emotionally fulfilled, but it's a fucking delay. Because this ain't really how you feel. Or this ain't really what you want. And then it's always a third demo that explains it. What it's explaining now is that you feel justified romantically to do what you're doing. Once again, you, you, for those that's in karmics, y'all in karmics. I didn't even talk about my twin. I don't know if my twin in a karmic or not, but this is just the energy I'm feeling. Masculines overall, because I ain't just talk about my karmic and shit. Like, go for all y'all, right? Yeah, so it's like, yeah, whoever this person is who's a karmic that you and your demo with, I told you, you chained to this person. The devil card been all up in the reading ain't here today but you've been chained and that shit that's some shit you can't get out of i mean you can but you keep telling yourself you can't get out of it and the same way you keep telling yourself you can't get out the situation is the same way you telling yourself this person is the one for you or this person is better than your twin or this person is whatever the fuck this person is a karma that's all you it's period this person is a karmic period okay so what's your next move you want to stay with a karmic fuck around and get killed fuck around and go to jail Fuck around, lose everything, including your mind. Let me say that shit again. <laughs> Fuck around and lose everything, including your mind, for a karmic. Morpheus face. <laughs> That's very interesting. I'm saying you can't lose in a divine situation, despite what you think. Only reason why you think you ain't going to win in a divine situation is because you think your shit ain't divine. Once again, that's your LD situation. You you stupid for that. You demo for that. That's your mentality. That's your perception. Ain't got shit to do with the people who really live in the real world. Like I say, <laughs> a lot of people live in a fucking matrix. They don't know how this shit work. They think they're free, but they not. I'm saying kids put on their parents' shoes every single day, but that don't make them adults. And it's some adults who can't even walk in heels. But your kids can't. You know what I'm saying? Like, little goofy shit. Like, this is the world we live in, man. It's a lot of fakers. A lot of takers. Dousing themselves with this goodness. Like, they're good when they're not. They don't even know what good is. You know, from how they align themselves. You know, when you align yourself with other powers. When you put time and energy and resources. I'm almost done. When you put time, energy, and resources into other things outside of God. Into other things outside of yourself, into other things outside of your twin flame situation, you can never be divine. That's, that's not even divine. Divine people don't move like that. Divine people do what's right. Divine people discipline themselves. They analyze. They just move different. They're divine. Okay? I don't know if I can get simpler than that. So, quit this karmic shit you on, masculine, because it ain't working. Divines can see through this shit. You <laughs> know? This is the energy of like poetic justice, right? With Janet Jackson and shit. This is like when uh, Regina King ass was at the motherfucker fan reunion line talking about Joe Torrey was her husband and shit. And you see how Maya Angelou was acting? What I ass? Grilling her. Not in her business, but just asking her real ass questions. So your husband let you walk around without your wedding ring? So your husband let you talk to any man and shit like that. So your husband let you dress like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? She can see through your synthetic and war weave ass. You feel me? And it's like you handle this shit just like Regina King and Poetic Justice to where it's a karmic you fucking with. But you talking about you, you y'all's married now. Nah. You know what I'm saying? He was good enough for you to tell people he was married to, right? She was married to the boy, right? Yeah, what happened in the truck? He beat the brakes off our ass. You know what I'm saying? That's what happens in karmic situations. <laughs> Moving on. Feminine in your role. You in regards to your damn self. You out here with a harvest. Ace of, Pent Eight of Pentacles. You got a whole harvest to maintain and protect. I told you. Attaining things are easy. Getting things are easy. Keeping them is hard work. Like this channel. Creating this shit was easy as fuck. <laughs> Making noise is easy as fuck. Keeping this shit is hard as fuck. It's an everyday thing. Especially with all these karmics that want you to cater to them and shit. But this, like I said, if you want to be catered to, probably the Destiny Child CDG. Like, we ain't on that around here, cuz. You got business to tend to in the real world. Like, your fucking harvest here. Okay? <laughs> I mean, part of having a harvest 
is six of pentacles on the outside. You getting square with God and you getting square with yourself. Harvest. This is having choosing your feet, closing your back, comfortable bed to sleep on, a job and a two of wands. I mean, a two of wands which is the job and a three of wands, like purpose. This is like having a, a, a whole twin flame demo. That's a harvest. You got a twin flame. That's, he's part of your harvest. She's part of your harvest. Like you got a demo. It's a part of your harvest. You know. You got God. You know what I'm saying? You got self awareness. You have divine intellect. Like all that shit is in your harvest. Including shit you can taste, touch, see, feel here. Like, like I said, a house, money in your pocket, shit you need to to succeed, survive, and thrive out here. That all that is a harvest. Yeah, that's a lot, right? Yeah. So that's why you don't need to be wasting mundane time doing nothing or fucking jagging off out here. You got too many time. You got too much time, energy, and resources to put into the shit you need to put into to put that shit into shit you don't even need to do. Because by you doing that, it's what's clarifying this. Three of Cups. That's be a fucking distraction. You got a whole twin flame demo, but your ass out here playing. It's a fucking distraction. Once again, you ain't on no divine shit. You distracted. You can't get your player card revoked. You can get your divine card revoked. Angels fall. Humans do too. Mortals do. Nigga, God's fall. God's fall. God's. G-O-D-S. Not God. There's only one God. There's a lot of demigods out here. They fall too. You know. Like mortals. You know. The good, the good fall. Because <laughs> a fuck about the bad, the good fall. You know what I'm saying? It's just like I said, you got a whole twin demo. You 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 stay in other situations. Boom, you fucking like a jackrabbit. You catch some shit. Now you can't even. You ain't even worth shit in your twin flame situation. You fucked yourself up, burnt yourself, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically speaking. Plan. You didn't have to go out here and fuck like that, but you did. Consequences. <laughs> You out here thieving, stealing, running rampant, just doing shit you ain't got no business doing. Boom, you end up locked the fuck up in prison for, I don't know, life. 10 years, 12 years, 20 years, and for what? All that time, energy, and resources are going to get wasted, flushed down the fucking drain. For what? Because you want to do your own thing. Told you, it's rules out here for a reason. It's purpose out here for a reason. Once again, you need to be on your shit. And not distracted out here. Seventy percent of the fucking world is distracted. Do not be like them. And then that's you and guards yourself. Don't be like the world. Bottom line, the world. Fuck the world, bro. With a sick ass dick, bro. Too divine to be giving a fuck about this low level shit. Three. It's the three of cups. This this, this distraction. This world is a low level. Four of cups. That's low. That's low. There ain't no high vibration. And like I say, the world is full of distractions. You can fit all these distractions in the world. Final word A. Hey, you look north. Hey, you at least look it in the right direction. Up is where you want to go. But if you look east, west, and south, you fucking distracted. Why look south? You just came from that way. That's stupid. Stupid. Going to a, a situation you just left. You just went through. You just fuck, got fucked up for it. And you went back to that. You're stepping into some old shit. Stupid. That's stupid. That's stupid. That's the definition of stupid to me. Going backwards. Why? Why? It's no purpose. You can't even justify that. Why? Waste time. You're waste, going backwards. You're wasting time. Why? There's no justification for that. Okay? You look east and you look west. Why the fuck are you looking both directions? Nigga, what you about to cross the street? You going forward if you crossing the street. Nigga, we going up. We ascending here. The fuck? <laughs> Y'all worry about the wrong shit. I'm trying to tell you. Masculine. You in regards to the feminine, you got the Nebuchadnezzar here. Clarifying as the 401s. That's home. That's Zion. That's Union. It's where you need to be, Nella. You need to get home. But in order for you to get home, you need to get on Nebuchadnezzar. This is the ship. 
to heaven, ship to home, to ship to Zion. Some call it heaven, I call it home. You feel what I'm saying? You need to get home. And the only way you can get on a ship is not in the world, master. You went from Neo to fucking Mr. Anderson. A for Anderson. You're Mr. Anderson again. You got to get rejected. You got to get re-ejected out the Matrix. Once again, you're going backwards. You Mr. Anderson again. You, you some shit you was already. Now you got to go back in the incubator. Learn all new shit just to get fucking free. Just so the Nebuchadnezzar can pick you up again. Build your muscles again. You're going to have to relearn all that martial arts again. You're going to have to fucking figure out the whole twin Trinity shit again. And ain't no, ain't no telling how many times Trinity done did this shit with you. Probably like Groundhog Day. Some everyday shit. Some Bill Murray shit. But whatever. It ain't about all that. The point is getting you home. And how do you get to the four of wands? You got a three of wands, right? So if you ain't three of one, and then your feminine three of one, and for you to get home, the Trinity. It's like Jesus Christ, nigga. He, you know what I'm saying? His death and resurrection, and it ain't about the death of Christ. It's about the resurrection. Fuck the, the cross. Period. Let's focus on the nigga resurrection. This nigga rose from the dead. Fuck dying on the cross. This nigga rose from the dead, cause that's what's up. Up. Oh, what's up, God? Yeah, that's what's up. Resurrection, crucifixion, what's that? That's down. That's earth. That's death. That's limited. That's nothing eternal. Nothing divine about dying. Now, resurrecting? Shit. <laughs> Fuck you, mean? Going up, resurrection? What do you think of resurrection? What do you think of? You, ah, nigga, you flying up. Nigga, when you, you think of ascension, what do you think of? You think of up, not forward, up. Get your ass home, and, and, and going straight forward ain't the way home, player. Let's put some more smoke on this, player. Why is it imperative for you to be home right now, masculine, especially in regards to your feminine? The devil, because I'm telling you, <laughs> for two reasons, you got to be Agent Smith. I told you, Agent Smith, where, what is he clinging to? He's clinging to Zion. I told you, Agent Smith been trying to get the Zion ever since you, I don't know, gave him a pass. This Agent Smith also is your fucking karmic too, masculine. You're divine. You got a karmic clinging on to a divine. It ain't his fault. You're a fucking divine. Who don't want to cling to a divine? But you got to set the fucking example to let him know you don't deal with karmics. Unless you do. Then you're flip floppy. Told you. Devil is not welcome. In Zion. There's no place for him here. Karmics <laughs> have no place in fucking Zion. So you're not going to see none up there. Masculine, it's like you on your way to Zion wondering if you can bring your karmic here. If your karmic can fit in this situation. At first it was using a whole karmic demo trying to fit your twin in. Now you're in your demo with your twin trying to fit your karmic in. Just show signs that it's coming to an end. That's all that says to me. Eh, that's like denial. Like that's some shit you like you really trying to fit it like a square peg in a, in a circle hole, G, and it's like that speaks volume. So this devil keep following you everywhere, including to the promised land. And this devil ain't welcome. But if you chain to this devil, guess what, feminine? You can't get in. That goes for the feminine. I'm just saying that for the feminine. Masculine, devil is not welcome here. You cannot bring your karmic here. Get that. <laughs> your karmic doesn't even belong in this demo. Feminine, your karmic doesn't even belong in this demo, but whatever. To each his own. As far as the masculine role, feminine in regards to the masculine, you got the six of pentacles. You're just getting square out here with your masculine. And what's getting square with your masculine? That's basically three of wanding so he can two of wand your three of wand. Just keeping the light on so he can follow it home. I am legend. I am legend. Will Smith just leaving a broadcast every day at the same time so you can reach somebody. You're just doing your job. That's all you can do.
Six of Pentacles plus three of Pentacles. That's clarifying this. That's nine of Pentacles. What's nine of Pentacles? That's being at the right place at the right time to bless somebody or be blessed somebody. Once again, Will Smith and I Am Legend. You went to the same spot every motherfucking day to try to find somebody by broadcasting. A chick found him through the broadcast. That was the bridge. <laughs> This was a person Will Smith just wanted to see if he was another person alive around here. You know what I'm saying? And the only way he could get there was broadcasting. He kept sending out the signal, signal, signal. Boom. When he gave up on the signal, this chick saved his life. Fate. <laughs> All them signals you put out worked. It's a reason why you was doing that. The chick who's receiving the signal. She's just trying to find a cure. Some type of sign that life is still out here to keep her fighting because she's got a son. That's what keeps you fighting out here, your kids. I ain't even got kids, but I'm fighting for it. I know some people that got kids and don't want to fight for shit. That's their issue. They got shit to do with Daniel. I'm just pointing out the obvious. It happens a lot within karmics and shit. But at any rate, it's like uh, she took a chance. She knew where he was. He was broadcasting where the fuck he was. She was led to get where he was at. Boom, they found each other. But she had to go find him. And he had to go put out that broadcast. He was on his job. She was on her job. Boo yeah. He was, they both not in Pentagon. They both at the right place at the right time to get blessed or be blessed. He got blessed by her company. She got blessed with his gift. Same shit go with the twin flame demo. Y'all here for a reason. If you ain't looking at it like that, then I'm telling you, you failing. You failing. <laughs> you fell in so many ways. I mean, I can go down a list with it. I mean, we got a book. I can go down a whole list of it. I'm just saying. But at the end of the day, you need to be doing what you're doing. That's all that matters when it comes to your master. As long as you're on your job, feminine, everything else is obsolete. Everything else is going to work itself out. Period. Now, masculine, you in regards to yourself, you got a wish is granted or a dream come true here. But it comes at a cost. And what's that cost? Three of swords. Past the, like the, the past the point of no return. I told you, ace of swords. We all know what direction to go. Freedom, freedom's to the north. Yeah, I know that. Which one of y'all went to freedom? Crickets. Yeah, I thought so. Which one of y'all niggas at least did more than just knowing where the fuck this is place at? Two of, uh, two of swords. Which one of y'all motherfuckers left the plantation? Me? Kuta Kente step up. He hop up. <laughs> nigga, I try to run out that bitch. Nigga, they got me, bro. Like, whole time, bro. Like, I tried many times. I just ended up at a two of swords. I didn't get past the point of no return. Past the point of no return. Kuta Kente obviously got returned to the motherfucking plantation because he's there. <laughs> Talking to me and shit. Like, <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody got to the Three of Swords. And if they did, it ain't like that nigga sent the telegram to let these niggas know he's free. At least in, in route, nah. When he get to the freedom destination, he can write a letter. But writing a letter when you're on a run for mass and shit? Nah, you have to pass the, no point, pass the point of return. It's just shit you need to be focused on. Other than that, trying to communicate. You ain't at the Eight of Wands right now. You at the Three of Swords right now. This is pain. Pain because your ass... <laughs> You know what I'm saying you running, you know what I'm saying? You running for your life, you know what I'm saying? You running for your freedom. You running so your kids, 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 kids can be free. It's a shame slavery been abolished, but motherfuckers still slaves. In the mind. Message! <laughs> it's like straight up, you know what I'm saying? Freedom, nine of cups, which is granted. Here's your opportunity to take off. And, and, and stay gone. Boom, you take your chance. But you pass the point of no return. You can't go back to a regular life. You can't go back to how shit used to be. Masculine. Your dream come true is I'm telling you. This demo. This demo. This shit looks so clear. <laughs> this demo is exactly what you want. But you know. You know. By going in this direction. By going in union with your twin. Your whole fucking life is going to come crumbling to a halt. All them lies you told. Hiding your twin. Denouncing the fact that your twin even exists or is relevant and shit. All that shit finna go out the window when you get with your twin. Person you've been talking about. Person you've been shitting on. Oh, I thought you hated this person. I see y'all married now. 
Oh, I heard you didn't like him, but y'all just moved in. Like, of course you're going to catch flat. You have to pass, you pass the point of no return. Who gives a fuck? What's past the point of no return? Union. Union. So you really want to bypass a divine situation because you give a fuck about what the world thinks about it? That's, that's kind of slow. It's kind of slow. Let's go to this future row. Feminine, you go into the future, you got the Knight of Swords. This is uh, making decisions without crossing your T's and dotting your I's. This is also the fear card. Something you kind of fear here. You know. And what this thing you fear is the Ace of, Eight of Pentacles. I mean, Ace of Pentacles, excuse me. Ace of Pentacles lately has been this Twin Flame demo. You fear this demo. Let me put some more smoke on that. I know what that is. I'm past that point. I'm past the point of return with that shit. Five opinions. Yep. <laughs> yep. So, uh, you scared. Said that in the last reading. You in fear. What are you scared of? That this twin flame situation ain't gonna go in the manner that you want it? Of course it ain't gonna go in the way that you want it. It ain't about what you want. It's what God wants for you. Where's God? Six inches down from your chin. So it's like you making your own decisions or queen of swording, being 10 toes down, 10 toes the fuck down on decisions you making be, be, be <laughs> on behalf of yourself. So you scared because you just scared. I mean, you passed the 10 of swords. What's the 10 of swords? That's a permanent ending. That's a wrap. That's your twin flame coming at you like my twin came at me so many times. Don't ever hit me up. Lose my number. Uh. Don't, don't talk to me. Leave me the fuck alone. Whatever the fuck. Tch, whatever the fuck. <laughs> Ain't the end of the world. You still got a purpose to do. You still got to lead this horse to water. It's a stubborn ass little coat. But you're going to get this motherfucker to water though. You still got business you got to do. Yeah, it sucks. Yes, you discombobulated. You just survived the death card. Of course, it's only natural. You out here in fear. Making decisions without crossing your T's and dying your eyes. You just lost the love of your life. You just lost your best friend. You just lost your fucking other half. But guess what? It's just a motherfucking step. What's the next step after this Knight of Swords? It's the bottom line. The Queen of Swords. That's you being ten toes down when it comes to you making your motherfucking mind up on shit in the world. Bottom line. So... You scared of where your place is or where you arrive at in your twin flame, flame, twin flame demo. These are for people who still wondering when they're going to see their twin again. I'm going to tell you right now. You tweaking, thinking that shit. Focus on you. I just want to know what. No, you just want verification. If you still want verification for twin flame shit, at least fucking with me. I think I lost a client with the same conversation. She was more so in tune with what the twin flame shit was. Karmic at first, now twin flame shit, right? I was just like, yo, you want to just focus on you? It was a life culture segment. I mean, we got all the time in the world to focus on you right now. But I guess it wasn't about you. So most feminists say, too. That's the most shit I get from these karmic ass feminists and shit. It ain't about me. Well, I know me. I'm good. I'm good. No, you're not. I told you, I want to do shit every week. And I'm advanced, player. <laughs> so you can get the fuck out of here with that I'm good shit that's the same shit your masculine kicking right here that they're emotionally fulfilled with a situation they're not emotionally fulfilled in just like you saying you ten of pentacles when really you were six of pentacles I think I went through that last reading too right yeah ace of pentacles plus five of pentacles anyway what's that six of pentacles you still trying to get squirt while you out here making decisions without crossing your T's and dying your eyes, going into your future. What's the five of pentacles anyway? That's the dark night of the soul. That's what's clarifying your ace of pentacles. Why? Because that's how you mentally choose to look at this shit. What you think about swords, you bring about. Of course, swords are going to come before the pentacles. This ain't happened yet. yet. So this is definitely like a warning. It ain't a warning because it ain't three motherfucking uh, red cards. But I mean, I'm going to just say this. Oh, easier said than done. I ride for mine. I do my shit. I do my work. I, I know how to handle my twins. Demo, like, real shit. I ain't got no qualms on what the fuck direction I need to be going. 
do them. I thought they could legit. Okay, and most of y'all got more degrees, more insight, more life experience out here. I'm just a regular Joe. That ain't regular no more because I chose to put the work in to make sure I'm not. So if you need help, you might as well start communicating, asking for help. If you don't know how to maneuver in your twin flame demo, what the fuck you think I'm here for? You fucking hurting yourself trying to... It's like you ain't got no directions. You don't know where the fuck you going. You lost, but you got too much pride to ask somebody for directions. So you just get more lost. Who fault is that? That you lost. Ain't nobody in the car fault. You lost. You the driver. <laughs> ain't the motherfucker at the gas station problem. Or he got something to deal with you because you lost. Like, nah, that's how you looking at the shit. You need to start looking at your situations different. Period. It's all perception. It's like you looking at your twin flame demo this way. You need to be looking at your twin flame demo from this angle one time. Maybe you might see a difference. <laughs> it's only one way, but there's angles. <laughs> it's the difference between angles and other directions. You know what I'm saying? You're just hitting it from another angle. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like you hitting it from another hole. Ha! <laughs> nah, you hitting, you know what I'm saying? You, you hitting it from another angle, which is you ain't gotta do all that there. You know what I'm saying? Ha! <laughs> Just saying. It's ways to do shit. Last thing going to the future, you got the nine of swords. Stressing. Divine feminine, your ass and fear going to the future. Masculine, you stressing. To me, I think it's over each other. Over this whole demo here. It's clarifying this nine of swords. We got the Knight of Wands that's moving fast and fiercely on divine direction. Your masculine stress because your masculine know exactly what the fuck he need to do in your life. He just got to do that. Blank. Period. What does the masculine want to let you know in the fourth fifth dimension real quick? Ten of Wands. The divine masculine is telling you. Is he telling you or is he telling himself this? Let me see. He's telling you that he needs to put a passion in to this boss he with. Because that's all she's ever going to be as a boss. She's never going to be an owner. No matter how much money. She could be he, he could be she. You know, now I'm rocking. You know what I'm saying? Uh, karmic. I don't really take it as a karmic. I just take it as whoever you're masculine. Fucks with the most. And this could... Go on you, feminine. Who are you fucking with the most? Whoever this person is, is definitely karmic. They only have pinnacle value, whether that's money or sex. It's all they're bringing to the table. They're not bringing anything divine to the table, which is why you need to put a halt to this feminine or masculine, whatever this is. Feminine, what do you want to tell the masculine for a fifth dimension? Queen of Wands, you in full on John Blaze mode right now. What does that mean? Five of Cups. You burn on all cylinders, Queen of Wands. You are handling your business in a manner that you need to handle it, and you're staying as isolated as possible. The reason why you're staying isolated is because you're putting a permanent end to some shit, or you're still dealing with the permanent ending. That you had to deal with in the third dimension. Death. End of a relationship. Knowing you needed to break up with your fucking karmic so you can give it your twin and just licking your wounds and shit. So, what does the universe want to let you guys know? Final thought. Queen of Cups. X-Men card. Psychic card. Final thought. <clears throat> we are X-Men. Divine. I'm talking to karmics. We're X-Men. Karmics, y'all humans. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't, I wouldn't rub an X-Men the wrong way. And like I said, they're like Siths and Jedis. You got good X-Men and bad X-Men. I wouldn't rub a good one or a bad one the wrong way. If I was you, I'd just know your role. Know your place. Divines know they divine. Karmics don't know they're not divine or don't know they're karmics at all. They don't know shit. Eh, they think a lot. You feel me? So... This is also X-Men training school. You got to step your game up. Why? So these Sith Lords don't take over the galactic galaxy. Fuck you mean. You got to... <laughs> you know what I mean? We 
can't let the Sith take over, man. Jedi's, we don't take over. All we do is just govern the galaxy. We don't want to control it. Sith want control. All power. That's what they say. All power. Oh, I'm more powerful going to Sith route. That's why I'm as power. Power. Hey, 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 I want power. You know what I'm saying? Jedi's, we protect. We, we roll with a different people. We enforce shit. We make sure shit ain't all fucked up out here. Because if the Jedi's wasn't out here, if the good X-Men wasn't out here, and if the Divine wasn't out here, period, this world would be way more fucked up than it already is. We're the only ones that's keeping light around here. Even, even the Siths. That's why I don't knock them. I respect them. I'm just not on what they on. And I will ride and die for that. When it's time to ride, pick a side. Them niggas know what side I'm rolling with. And I'll die for that, bro. And that's how you need to be. When it's time to ride, pick a side. If you're going to be a Jedi, be a good Jedi. If you're going to be a Sith, be a good Sith. Don't be half-assing a Sith posing in human form. Or a divine posing in human form. No. You're a fucking God. Run like one. Rule like one. Manifest like one. Stop acting like a human being. You're not one. It's a big difference between a divine and a karmic. And the gap between the two is very fucking huge. It's a very big fucking difference between the divine and the karmic. You just got to understand what that is. And ain't what you think. It's what you know. That's the message. So I can be of some good use. It's your boy D-Boom. My ad of why I'm asking later. But it's definitely coming tomorrow if it don't come tonight. Stay tuned though either way. If you ain't watched the videos before this one, just check them out. You might learn something. Uh, oh, yeah. Specials. You want to get this this, this this reading, you better get it now. Like, straight up. I, I got I got space. Don't even worry about it. That's what I want to say. Don't be assuming just because I'm busy, I ain't got time to get your shit. Number one, that, that doesn't show any kind of initiative. You just wanting to get a reading from me, but not attempting to because of something you, you think. Hey, what you think is what you know. You know what I mean? Unless I tell you slots is done. I might even feel like being selfish. I might just overbook my motherfucking self with some shit like that. Either way, I got space for you. Bring your ass. That's all I want to say. Stay tuned. Boom.